In this movie, we're going to show how Enroute's new blending function works. And this is actually not a new function, but we've made some nice improvements to how this works. And to start off with, I'm going to create a relief. And I'm going to do that by going to the rectangle tool and just clicking twice on screen to, to create a relief. I'm not worried too much time at this point about the size of it. Now I'm going to come here to the Create Relief button. And with the round relief selected, I'm going to add a rounded profile relief with a 40 degree angle to this rectangle and I can shade this and see that I've created a, a surrounded top rectangular 3D relief. Now to give me a little bit something to smooth out of here to blend out I'm going to come and, and go to the surface menu and choose textures and these are the parametric textures that are, uh, the, are put on screen by a, a um, mathematical formula. Let's just reduce this a little bit to get a little smaller weave size here. And uh, we'll hit apply. And I'm adding a height of 0.3 inches here onto my previous relief. So here we can see we've added a nice little basket weave relief. At the end, to get to the blending tool, we're going to go to the relief editing tools. And so we're going to hit uh, edit the selected relief. And we have a few parameters here. The blending tool is going to be the one that's on the right. I'm going to choose Merge Highest. We have a radius, which determines the radius of the actual uh, tool we're going to use, or, or the area we're going to blend. And we have a power slider here. The, the farther we move over towards the right, the more we can see that we're really blending this shape and smoothing it out. If we move over a little bit more, we'll still continue to blend things, but it won't be quite as, uh, quite as much. If I keep going over the same area, we'll continue to work on that specific area. Now, if I, again, reduce this a little bit more, then the, the noticeable change is a little more subtle. So uh, if I keep going over these same areas, it will continue to blend out. So it will can, it will uh, will keep working on the same area over and over. But with this tool, you can really have a nice impact and, and take a, a given relief surface and, and smooth out some particular areas rather than this slant rather than to smooth out a, an entire relief uh, such as happens with the, the sanding tool. And uh, once I like everything here, I can either clear this out or I can hit apply. And uh, if I hit choose apply, then everything will take effect and I hit, can hit close. And I can see the uh, effect that this blending has, has had here. So the blending tool is a very nice way to get in there and smooth things out on a relief where, where reliefs might be edging together or where you have little funny ripples in a relief that you want to get rid of.